Hi virtually BGCMC, I'm Miss Christina and today's video I'm going to take you on a haiku hike or nature walk. You'll see in my video I was on my way up to a trail that ended up being very very muddy and I did not wear the proper shoes to uh, walk through the mud and so I ended up taking a really nice nature walk. It's just a few like way way streets up of where I live so I walked all the way there and um, I actually got to explore more of my neighborhood in an area that I don't normally go to, which was really awesome because it's a goal of mine to just experience new things. And new things, new beginnings, that's what spring means to me. Take a notebook with you or just make sure you pay attention to your surroundings and notice all the things that may stick out to you. The colors of the flowers, the, the color of the sky, if there's anybody out. Um, if is it cold? Is it windy? Is it warmer outside? Um, I saw bees and I saw um, squirrels on the trail and um, it was just an awesome way to start my day. And so because it's National Poetry Month for April and Earth Day is also coming up in April, I just decided to mash the two together and appreciate both things, nature and poetry. And so I let my hike, my nature walk, inspire a haiku. You've probably heard of a haiku before. It's a very short poem where the first line is five syllables, the second line is seven syllables, and then the third line and the last line is five syllables again. So enjoy my nature walk through these really, really pretty flowers and just, it was so nice to see everything blooming for the spring. And um, we'll come back and I'll let you know what my haiku hike poem is. Hi, Rachel BGCMC. I'm Miss Christina and come with me on a haiku hike. So I'm walking closer to the trail today in what is a cloudy day in Los Angeles. So even though the sun isn't quite out today, um, it's really pretty outside and I have to walk through some more suburban streets to get to where I want to go. Um, and there's so many beautiful trees and I love this area because not all the houses are the same. And uh, it's just great to get outside and like notice my surroundings more. And so that's why I thought bringing a notepad, if you wanted to go on a nature walk or a hike, whatever you will, would be really fun to just jot down your um, thoughts as you walk. So some things I'm noticing on my walk are the birds that are chirping, the sky is really gray and all the flowers are blooming right now, which is so pretty to look at. And it's a little hilly. And um, so the street's kind of going up and it's kind of going down. And people are outside and walking around and everyone seems so excited that it's not raining and um, that we can come outside and it's just warming up a little bit. So I'm getting closer and closer to the mountain areas. Um, I don't know if you can see far past these big trees, but all there is mountains. And I like living close by the mountains. I like the nature of it. I would love to just live right on a mountain someday if I could. Um, and they're so green from all the rain that we've had here in LA. So the trail closer to the mountain is actually super muddy. Um, it may have uh, rained overnight. Um, and I didn't bring the best shoes to deal with, with mud. Usually when I go on walks or hikes around here, it's more like sand and dirt. Um, so I decided that I'm going to explore this new neighborhood and pick up on things I've never seen before and take in um, the nature around surrounded by all the pretty houses. Um, and that's what I'm gonna write my haiku about.
blossoms are starting to come out, which is my favorite part of spring, seeing everything bloom, especially the cherry blossoms. It's really nice day. So I'm so grateful that I got to be outside today. I got to take a long walk through um, a neighborhood that I've never been to. Um, and I definitely need to go back and when it's not so muddy and um, do that hike uh, because it's one I've never done before. Um, and I'm trying to experience new things and new routes. I'm sorry, there's a car passing. Um, but it was just really great to start my morning off outside. So I encourage everybody, especially with Earth Day coming up, to get outside um, when they can. And it's a beautiful time of year. Everything seems like it's coming back to life after the winter. And I think that's what my inspiration is going to be for my haiku hike. All right, so my haiku hike or nature walk is um, inspired by all the colors that I saw and how it was kind of an unexpected morning, didn't go as I quite planned, but that that's okay. And then I just rolled with it. I still had a great exercise um, and I got a lot of steps in and I got to just take a stroll and be mindful and, be, and, and just kind of turn my brain off <laughs> and be grateful. So my haiku hike is, first line is gloomy but serene, five syllables, many, many colors, come alive. Seven syllables for my second line. And then my last line is new sights, new mornings. So five, seven, five, gloomy but serene, many colors come alive, new sights, new mornings. So um, I hope that you share your poem with us or your haiku with us um, and just get outside for this Earth Day and try and put two things together if you can. If you like if you like characters and you want to be inspired by nature, then maybe go for a nature walk and come up with a character or, or just let um, your surroundings inspire you. So that was my goal for my hike and I hope you try it out. <laughs>